Yeah, I'm gonna <gasps> I see it. Catherine is someone who cares a lot about others. I know that I could like tell her anything and she wouldn't treat me differently. Like she would be someone who's there for me. She probably is also one of the most humble people you'll ever meet. It's really nice to see her like the center of attention because she doesn't usually like to be. And so it's really like nice to see her like getting the attention that she deserves. Catherine is just, she's everyone's friend and just so loving to everyone that she meets. And I really appreciate having her as my cousin. She's there for you and she's there for Anthony. Anthony has a special soul. He, I feel like he knows more than a lot of people on a lot of different subjects. He wants to know the people around him. Um, he's also very humble. He's not focused on himself. He's like having a joke with friends and building them up. And you feel so special. When Anthony laughs at your joke, it's like, oh, yes, I'm a funny person. He has this grace about him where he can just really boost people up and he does it all the time. And um, yeah, he's really special. I think about Catherine and Anthony as like this beautiful couple. They've been together for like a little bit over five and a half years. I remember like when Catherine and Anthony first started dating, obviously we didn't know him. It was just like stories of like, oh, this is the date that they went on or this is the, you know, thing that they did together. But it, yeah, it was always like Catherine was really happy and um, you can just tell like how much they love each other, even from the beginning, you know, like it was very very obvious. Anthony affected Catherine so much. <laughs> he, okay, um, when she got to know Anthony, he revealed sides of her that I didn't know she had. I've never seen her love someone so much. He's brought out that outgoing personality, the person that is willing to be open-minded and try new things. Catherine and Anthony, as a couple, they are very cute. I think they were the first couple that I was ever really around that weren't married, they were like dating. Anthony was just always so caring for Catherine. She would tell me about how he would um, switch shifts, so that way she would get off early from work, or um, he would just do sweet things for her. When I met Anthony, I knew he was really special because at Leatherby's, I first started working there, I was so nervous. Not everybody was the most pleasant, but he was super nice to me and he always helped me. Um, and I'm really excited to get married to him today because he's my best friend. We welcome all of you and we invite you to share on their joy as they come before the Lord to make their vows. I, Anthony, take you, Catherine, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Catherine. I, Catherine. Take you, Anthony. Take you, Anthony. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Catherine, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. Fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the, Son, and the, Holy, Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Anthony, take this ring. Anthony, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. The Holy Spirit. The Holy 
Spirit. So, we, please respond to each invocation, Amen, as we pray for God's blessing upon them. May God, the Father Almighty, always fill your hearts with love. Amen. May God's uh, only begotten Son always help you in good and difficult times. Amen. And may God's Holy Spirit fill your hearts with joy. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, flowers. Thank God.
honestly, it just kept going and going and going. Yeah. Since the time I woke up, it's just like, boom, here. I know, yeah, I woke up early and it's just zoomed by. It's a lot of fun. They love each other so much. Um, I think they're gonna be like amazing parents once they have kids or if they have kids in the future. And they're just gonna be like a really welcoming home and like really make each other happy and support each other really well through anything that happens to them in their life. Catherine and Anthony, you guys have inspired me in more ways than I think I've ever told you or that you might know. Your love for each other is truly inspiring and I think it's something really special. Hey Catherine, hey Anthony, it's your best girl Dana. Um, I just wanted to say for one thing, congratulations on your wedding. You guys are such a beautiful couple. Hello Catherine and Anthony. If I could say anything to you when you guys are 80 and you're sitting on your rocking chairs with your white hair, I would say that I wish I spent more time with you when you guys were dating. You were very sweet and caring towards everyone around you. And even though you were dating, it never felt like a third wheel or anything like that. 50 years from now, I hope you guys will have beautiful children, grandchildren, little Anthony's or little Catherine's, boys or girls, twins, whatever it is. Um, I can't wait to see where your relationship goes from here, where it progresses, and I just can't wait to be a part of that for the years ahead of time. Catherine and Anthony, I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful marriage and are happy together. I love you guys. Congrats. Yeah, I love you guys. God bless. <laughs>